So there are seven technology standards for students set by International Society for Technology and Education, ISTE, ISD. And in this video, we are focusing on the standard number seven, Global Collaborators. So your students must be able to use digital tools to broaden their perspectives and enrich their learning by collaborating with others and working effectively in teams locally and globally. So we'll look at this issue in more detail in four different areas. So first, so your students must learn to use digital tools to connect with learners. As a student, how do you connect with other learners? I connect with others through video conferencing, chat, virtual field trips, multiplayer online games, email and social media, and so on. With digital tools, there's no geographic boundaries, so, so you get to connect with people from all around the world for learning purposes. Do we really need to collaborate with others from a variety of backgrounds and cultures? The answer is yes. There are a lot of opportunities to connect with other learners from a variety of backgrounds and cultures, engaging with them in ways that broaden mutual understanding and learning. Can you think of any examples? How about engaging with digital pen pals? How about telecollaborative global projects? How about social action projects? How about school global partnerships? Experts are all around the world. And today, thanks to digital tools and digital networks, connecting them and putting their skills and expertise together is much easier. Also, connected global learners must know how to respectfully reach out and work with others from different cultures mm. to meet specific learning objectives. Also, your students must learn to use collaborative technologies to work with others, including peers, experts, or community members. And there are many applications that facilitate teamwork and collaboration between students and experts around the globe. For example, knowledge sharing tools, video conferencing, digital project spaces and sites, chats, and collaborative schedulers. And your students also need to learn to examine issues and problems from multiple viewpoints. In other words, they need to learn to engage in conversations and debate through the lens of different cultural, geographic, demographic, and personal perspectives. What are some of the examples of such environments and opportunities? There are online debates, discussion forums, tele-mentoring, and personal learning networks. And also your students must learn to contribute constructively to project teams. For example, they need to learn to facilitate or engage in collegial feedback, manage timelines and scope of project, engage team decision making, and contribute in ways that are measurable. They also must learn to assume various roles and responsibilities to work effectively toward a common goal. And students must learn to do that not only face to face, but also on a digital platform. They must practice communication skills by experiencing different roles, for example, team lead, subject matter expert, beta tester, timekeeper, note taker, or scheduler on the digital platforms and by using digital technology tools. And also your students must learn to explore local and global issues. How can a teacher help students do that? Some of the examples include virtual field trips, research projects, ePals, and action projects using digital tools. And finally, your students must learn to use collaborative technologies to work with others to investigate solutions. Now, as a teacher, you must ask yourself what you can do to help your students learn by collaborating with others and working effectively in teams locally and globally. How can we create global collaborators? So that's the seventh technology goal that your students as well as teachers must strive to attain. 